I read John chapter 3, verses 1 to 3. There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. If no man can do these miracles, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto you, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Our first question today is, what does it mean to be born again? Um, to be born again means to have the new life in Christ, to accept that Jesus died okay. on the cross for us and he has raised up to sit at the right hand of Christ. It's to have the life of Christ, to believe in Jesus and his resurrection and to ultimately be filled with his Holy Spirit. To be born again simply means to totally surrender your life to Christ. You have to confess your sins, uh -huh. then accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior. You confess with your mouth and do what? Believe in your heart. In your heart. So, to be born again simply means having an understanding of the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ and believing in that death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in John chapter 3 verse 3, it says Jesus said, except a man. Who is a man? A man is any human being on the earth, male or female. A man is any human being on the earth, ma on the earth male, male or, or female. female. A man is, is one created in the image and likeness of God. Mm. The Bible says in the book of Genesis 1, 26, let us make man in our own image. Praise the name Let of the Lord. Please put your hands together for her, give her a gift. Okay, so God is a spirit, isn't it? And you and I were made in his who? His image. Now, what that means is that you and I are spirit. Amen? Look at Genesis chapter 2, verse 7 of Genesis chapter 2. The Bible says after Genesis 1, 26, And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. This verse introduces the trifold nature of man. The Bible says in Genesis 2 verse 7 that we have three parts, and I'll just break it down. It says, and God formed man of the dust of the ground, that is his body, and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, that is the one we saw in Genesis 1.26. His spirit. And man became a living soul. And then there's this other person there called soul. And so what the scriptures are teaching us is that you are not one big, you know, one big mass. You have many components inside you. And when Jesus was saying in John 3 verse 3, except a man be born again, that man is referring to your spirit man. Praise the name of the Lord. The spirit man, the one that was created in Genesis 1 verse 26, is the most important. So put your hand on your chest. Say, I am a spirit. I have a soul. I dwell in a physical body. When I was born in the hospital, however, the Bible teaches us that of the three parts only two were functional. Praise the name of the Lord. Only two of the three parts were functional. So you can shout it. Which part was not functional? Why was the spirit not functional? Anybody can help us. Why was the spirit not functional in the hospital the day I cried as a baby? Scripture. Because it has not been regenerated. Scripture. Scripture. That which is born of God. That which is born of flesh is flesh. That which is born of spirit is spirit. John 3. Praise the Lord. I believe it's because he has not gotten to the maturity where the spirit can connect to the spirit of God. He's still a baby. He hasn't grown to the maturity to make use of the spirit. What is that maturity? What is that? He, you know, I hear you, but help us. When does the spirit get to the place where it comes alive? Um, when you get to know evil and good when you get to understand that you you 
my God. Okay, she's trying. Someone help us. When does the spirit come alive? Somebody say it well. Uh, praise the Lord. Yes. Let me just try. Uh, so, so the Bible says that the wages of sin is death. death. And the gift of God is what? Eternal life. Isn't it? Yes. Isn't it? For all have sinned and fallen short of what? The glory of God. Psalm 51. David said, in sin did my mother conceive me. Are you with me? Okay, so now... When does the spirit man come alive? I think the spirit man comes alive after the circumcision. So those of us who were once dead yes. in our sins yes. and our trespasses, yes. has he quickened together with him? Yes. So the spirit comes alive from death the day Jesus is encountered by the man. The See, man who is a component. What is the encounter? What does that mean? Is the salvation. Hallelujah. Experience. Praise the name of the Lord. The Unless Lord. a man is what? Born again. Except a man be what? Born again. Notice that word is except a man be. That be you could put become. Unless a man be born again. The connection to born again is not by doing anything. It's by becoming, it's by accepting the finished work of Jesus on the cross of Calvary and declaring that I have sinned and fallen short of God's standard. That experience now allows me to enter into the place of salvation. Praise the name of the Lord.